Hey, welcome to another episode of the Ask Emmy Show. My name is Edmund. I'm Jennifer. I'm Cindy. And we are the attorneys here at Amity Law Group.、Uh, we are known for helping families in Southern California protect their assets and making sure that their family is protected if something happens. And today we have a really、uh, interesting topic to discuss.、Uh, a lot of our clients in our estate planning services they have kids in in their twenties and thirties,、uh, still looking for uh, careers uh, that match、um, what they love to do and. Uh, many times they they tell us in conversations they're like hey、um, you know my my kids don't know what to do can you give us some advice and can you talk to them and so I guess this is our way of directly indirectly talking to them so we wanted to share some of of the best ways to give advice to your grown kids especially in their twenties and thirties and it's sometimes hard to talk to them about these topics so Jennifer can you share with us kind of one of your tips to to give people、sure. about this topic yeah I mean I think、um, you know once they're they've reached a certain age they. Maybe don't feel like being lectured at. So instead of you know having、um, kind of specific instructions like what they should shouldn't do,、uh, maybe just you know based on their personality and interests, kind of start gauging you know what they like and what they dislike, and even just suggesting, hey, you know if if you're interested in the law、um, and maybe becoming a lawyer, maybe you know do an internship or、um, go you know to the court and just. Observe how、um, you know things work,、um, and that way, you know, by example, they kind of see like, hey, is this something that I can see myself doing?、Um, so I think from my perspective, it's just、um, parents, you know, you you want to give them some instruction, but at the same time, not necessarily in like a lecturing tone,、um, but maybe just you know, by example, they can go observe, go talk to a few people who are in the industry, and see you know whether or not it's a good fit for their personality. Any other tips, Cindy?、Um, I think one of the biggest thing that parents forget is is just simply talking to their to their kids.、Um, you know, throughout、uh, adolescence, it's a really good time to really question what it is that they are interested in, their strengths,、um, you know, something that they like to do, and try to relate that to what a career would look like. Uh, so having that open line of communication and sharing with each other and understanding what your what your child is good at is really key to trying to guide your your、uh, kid's career choice. And another thing is,、uh, don't be afraid to share your own career mistakes. I think、uh, for a lot of parents,、uh, we tend to want to give this image of you know being Superman and Superwoman. And it's okay to share certain types of career mistakes、um, to them, so that they can know that they can trust you to talk to them honestly. You know, a lot of times we、um, have have this you know parent figure、um, that that we can't shake off with our kids. So once we put that put that kind of guard down, maybe kids will will, will open up to you, and they will kind of show you and and, and tell you what they really want to do, so you can give some really good advice to them. Yeah, and I think. Just to remind yourselves, it's okay if your kids don't actually end up listening to your advice, <laughs>、um, because I mean, Cindy and I were talking.、Um, we both ended up not following our parents' advice, and we turned out fine. So、um, I think it's just you know, it's you know, obviously as a parent, you want to make sure that you give them、uh, all your wisdom and knowledge that you've gained in in all these years. But at the same time, you know, they are independent people, and、uh, they probably have. Independent thoughts as to what they want to do, and so it's it's also fine too.、Um, but just be there, and you know, keep the lines of communication open,、um, and just let them know that hey, if they do have any questions, you know, they can always come back to you. Yeah, and I think last thing is probably keep in mind that、um, money is important, but not the end all be all. Yeah. So it's really important that、uh, they end up doing what they like. And it's also important that they end up doing what they like that will allow them to support the life that they want to have. So it's you know there because we are in are the sort of the age of、um, new careers being built every day, careers we never knew existed、um, that are being built now and forming now, and and there are new definitions of what、um, 
what certain professions are. So kind of keep an open mind about that. And I think it'll definitely help the relationship and help your, um, your child uh, with their future decision making in, in their career. Yeah, we have, uh, we have friends from different types of uh, professions, different types of careers, uh, and, and you might not expect uh, you know, some people to make a lot of money doing what they do, but they do. Mm -hmm. And there's just so much opportunity these days in, in 2019. And so um, whatever your, your kids are interested in, just support them. You know, show them that, that you love them, that they can fall back to you and ask you questions if, if necessary. Because at the end of the day, uh, you have a lot of wisdom to offer your kids. And a lot of times parents uh, don't get that opportunity to do so because there is no uh, open line of communication to do that. So after you open that line of communication, uh, I think your relationship with your kids will improve drastically. So that's something else to keep in mind. Yeah, and then I guess to tie this all together, you know, um, it kind of reminds us that uh, having this support uh, knowing that your kids can rely and fall back on you is really important. So you want to make sure that that continues. And to do that, you know, even if you one day, you know, pass on, you want to make sure that you have an estate plan. And the estate plan is there that they can fall back on knowing that, hey, you know, my parents, they set this plan up and there are certain assets that are there for my support. Um, and, you know, it goes to generation and to each generation. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Same here. Well, I think that's it for this episode. Uh, if you guys have any questions uh, for us about this topic, we would love to hear from you. Leave a comment below and we'll do our best to answer it. Until next time, we'll, we'll see you.